Hello children, I am Vandana S. Gopi, your maths teacher and today we are going to discuss subtraction. What is subtraction? Subtraction means to take away, to deduct, to make something less, fewer than decrease. So these are the similar meaning terms of subtraction. Understood? So subtraction means to make the number of the group less after taking something out from it. Okay. This is the sign of subtraction and we call it minus M I N U S minus. So, what is the sign of subtraction called? Minus. Okay. Let's see how we do subtraction. Suppose if in a group there are few color pens. How much? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If I take Two color pens from this group. One, two. Now how many color pens left? One, two, three. So what we have done here? We have done subtraction. That means we have taken two pens to reduce the number of pens from the group. Earlier there were five pens. Then I have taken away 2. So how many were remaining? 3. Either you can write subtraction in horizontal form. That is in sleeping form like this. 5 minus 2. And this is the sign of equals to means. How much you are getting as answer? 3. Or you can write in vertical order. How? 5 sign of subtraction that is minus. Below 5 write down 2. Draw a line. Simple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many you have to take out? 2. 1, 2 as 2 is the number which is to be subtracted from 5. How many lines are remaining? 1, Two, three. So our answer is three. So children, after understanding what is subtraction and how to subtract a number from other, we will be discussing word problem or story sum. What are they? They are the questions which are given in the form of a story. As you can see, I have written a story sum for you all and it says Tia has six crayons she gave four crayons to her friend how many crayons are left with her so in this question we have to find the remaining number of crayons which are left with Tia so for finding the answer we will write solution s o l u t i o n solution means now we are ready to find the answer. Okay. Now for writing the statement. Statement means the information which is given in the question. First statement will be Tia has 6 crayons. So first information which we have the number of crayons Tia has. We will write an O dot. This is the short form of writing number. Number of crayons. C-R-A-Y-O-N-S. Crayons. Number of crayons. How many? Six. Then she gave four crayons to her friend. 
so next statement will be number of crayons given is equal to 4 as she has given 4 crayons to her friend now third statement will be to find out the remaining number so we will write number of crayons left means the remaining number of crayons okay so after writing this third statement we have to do the subtraction over here to find the remaining number for that what we will do we will separate the question with the help of this line to get the answer then put the sign of subtraction in between equals to and four don't overlap the sign of subtraction with equals to or with any of the digit okay now simple subtract four from the six take away four from the six how much will be the left number of crayons it will be two okay so here we got the answer that number of crayons left are two so finally we will write answer to conclude our word problem or the story sum we will write the answer in short statement or sentence Tia has two crayons with her okay or you may write two crayons are left with Tia it is up to your choice what kind of sentence you are going to write in the answer but in answer you have to come to an conclusion that what is remaining what have you got as an answer okay so i hope you have understood how to solve a statement with short and informative statements how to put equals to how to put the sign of subtraction and then why to write answers in the last so children for today this much is okay and we will discuss a new topic when we meet next till then bye